Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome to a uh, new tutorial. And today we're going to jump right into it. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys how to actually um, do some hair. So we're not going to be doing the full character. This is actually a drawing I did over the weekend. And if you guys want a closer look, you can go over to facebook.com slash how to draw like John. And uh, I'll, I'll have the, the picture up there. I may have put it up already. I'm not sure. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure it's up there already. But uh, anyway, if you guys want to uh, just have a better look at it or something, then feel, feel free. Just go over there. Anyway, so I'm going to be showing you how to do hair. And I practically, I already set up a, a little dummy for... Uh, what we're going to practice doing the hair on. <laughs> okay, so um, doing hair and drawings is very important, especially if you want it to look fairly realistic. Um, you know, or uh, maybe not even so much realistic, even if you just want it to look like hair. So I actually think I might do a couple tutorials on different types of hair that you can actually do. Um, hair is one of the best things, as far, or it's one of my favorite things, as far as when it comes to drawing. Okay, so all I did is I just drew out this little shape. You can obviously can tell this is the head. Um, neck area and shoulders. I wasn't trying to be like legit with this little sculpt or drawing or whatever. So, um, so yeah, don't be too hard on it. Uh, this is literally just so we have something to set the hair on top of. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to come over here, we're going to create a new layer, and once we do that, we're going to select black. Yes, we're doing black for this tutorial. And we come over here and grab our airbrush tool, which is right there. Now, we use this airbrush tool a lot, don't we? <laughs> okay. So here's what I like to do a lot of times. I like to... Hold for one, zoom in a little bit. Okay, so it depends on what type of hairstyle you want to do, but for this one, it's going to kind of be just a kind of a short haircut. So kind of like the one that was in the previous drawing. So you just kind of start off, just kind of like this, and we're going to have it like kind of kick out at the edges just a little bit. So we're going to do it just like this. And the same thing right here. And just have it kind of kick out. So. Um, okay, so now, now that you have it and it looks just like that, all I want you to do is just to come on up. Move on up. <laughs> and we're just going to bring it right about there and do the exact same thing close enough over on this side. Okay, so <laughs> now what we're going to do is we're going to increase the size of our brush and we're just going to fill this in really quick. Now mind you guys, it is, <laughs> it's almost terrible how simple it is um, doing this hair. Now mind you, it, it it's simple, but you still have to take a lot of time to make your hair look, look like, look good. Well, yeah. Make, take time to make your own hair look good, so make the drawing hair look good, too. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, anyway, so we go ahead, we just fill this in. Oh, yeah, also, too, I, I don't want to skip this video without without saying it. I just want to say welcome to the new subscribers, because we got a ton over the weekend. So, yeah, I just want to say thank you. <laughs> I really appreciate you guys. Okay, so now we have our hair. And uh, now what we're going to do is we are going to merge. Well, actually, no, we're not going to merge that just yet. Sorry. We're going to create a new layer and let's grab our pencil. Now what we're going to do with our pencil is we need to zoom in a little bit. Ah, there we go. Zoom in a little bit closer. Now, if you look at anyone's hair, you obviously straggle, you see straggly little pieces. And this is very important <laughs> because, uh, well, yeah, it's what adds realism to uh, to your drawing. So, I don't know how well you can see that. I oh, yeah, okay, I think you can see that. So I'm just adding small little loose ends just around here on the edges. Very loose, but not too loose. So just close enough, just so you can kind of tell. Every now and then, you see that? You just throw one out there like that. Keep moving, and just keep on moving, and then again, you might want to just throw a little loose one, and maybe a few loose ones up there, 
a little bit right there. Whoop. <laughs> yeah, right here. Okay, so now we're gonna go on this side and do pretty much the same thing. Let's see if we can pick up the speed a little faster. I was just trying to go a little bit slower just so you guys can see what I'm doing. But now you have an idea exactly what I'm doing. So let's just keep moving. Okay, and do the same thing. Okay, so now when we zoom back out, whoop, now you can see, you can see that, let me zoom in a little bit closer, you can see the little straggly pieces that are kind of hanging out. Just chilling, because that's what they like to do, hang out and chill. Now what you want to do is, this is on the inside um, of our of, of the hair, the hairline. So actually we want to touch this up just a little bit. I think you guys can see it. Let me zoom in a little bit more. And just do a little bit of that. And this is one of my favorite things to do. If you look at drawings that I usually do with um, women, I usually like to... Whew, Put a little bit of like that, but kind of like it's little, just a little bit, like getting in the way of their face or something. Just a little bit. That's what I like to do. Mind you, I love drawing hair. It's just I love how it's just it's so much fun because there's so much stuff you can do with it, with all kinds of crazy hairstyles. And once you get comfortable with drawing hair, then I mean, yeah, <laughs> you'll see how much fun it is because you're like, oh, I'm gonna make their hair look like this, and no one can stop me. Okay, so that is the first layer that we have. Now what I'm going to do is, I don't want to make this video too long, uh, now all I want to do is I want to merge, we're going to merge those together. Now here's the important part. This is what's going to help. I will always talk about highlights, but I'm going to show you how important highlights really are. Okay, so let's just say the light source, I usually pick light coming from this direction, so we're just going to go ahead and say light's coming from here. So now what we want to do is we want to have the hair uh, stand out a little bit more. So we're going to select completely all white. And don't worry about this. Leave it at 100 for right now. And we're going to zoom in. Now, here is the important part. We're just going to start adding some more streaks just along right here. Now, you can probably already start to see the difference. You see, now it's not just looking like there's only strands. It's more believe. It's they're starting to look more believable because first you had these loose ones here on the edge, but now you're actually starting to see the individual lines all clustered together, which is actually starting to make it look like hair. And this is very simple, <laughs> but it, it it works. And this is the method that I use for pretty much all of my uh, of my drawings where I do it with hair. So anyway, you pretty much just keep going on. You know, you put some more there on the edges. You just kind of keep going. And here we'll come and add a little bit more in right here. Thought we'd do a little different kind of tutorial today. Cause it's not all the time I always go into like detail about like this type of stuff, like the hair and stuff. But uh, I feel like you guys are pretty much ready for that. <laughs> okay, so apply this same thing and just apply it to different parts of the hair. Also, too, here is really important here where the hair is parted. That is very important, too, so you add more, a little bit more in, right in here. Now, you see, it's starting to really look like hair. Okay, so just imagine applying all of this to the rest of that. <laughs> So now what we're going to do is, here's the last thing, because this wasn't going to be a very long tutorial. We're going to merge that together. Now, here's one of the important parts. When you're doing a drawing, now I know this little empty space right here isn't much, but this is one of the important things. You don't want to forget to do this. Remember, our light is coming from here, so we always want to have a small shadow, and this will help actually make it look like the hair is setting more on top of the head. So what we're going to do for this particular drawing is we're going to get black, and we're gonna go back and get our airbrush tool. And we're gonna come over here, we're gonna drop the opacity to about 60%. And that depends on what kind of shadows you want too, so don't don't let, uh, don't let forget that. Now what we're gonna do is we're drawing, now let me show you my layers. 
we're in, in a middle layer right here. So our hair is here and the body is, or the head is right here. We want to be in the middle of that. Now here's why. You have the light coming from here. You want some small little shadows in right here. And this is what's going to help. Now this is just rough, by the way, but a lot of that really helps to make it look like the hair is actually setting on top of the head because it's cast in shadow, which is very important. So we can actually drop it down maybe just a little bit more. So pretty much just like that. So you guys, that is my little tutorial for you guys on hair. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, I, for those of you who are wondering, I am using the Samsung Galaxy Note 8.0 and I'm using the beautiful S Pen. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I have another tutorial that I promised that I would do for someone um, this week. I'm going to try to get to it. It might be a little bit late this week just because Cloudy is supposed to come out this week and I have to get on top of that. But uh, yeah, so look for that tutorial. It's supposed to be on keeping an image into high resolution on once you export it, which is actually kind of difficult with Sketchbook Pro. And in the next tutorial, I'll kind of tell you why. But um, I have a different solution for what you can do for that. Anyway, you guys, so again, thank you so much for the support. You guys have no idea how much it means to me. So I just wanted to say thank you. And, um, you know, I love you guys. You guys are really awesome. You guys send me emails. I help keep me encouraged and stuff. So I just wanted to let you guys know that I really appreciate you guys. So I'm not doing this just to, I don't know, whatever. People, I don't know. I'm not trying to judge people. But anyway, I'm not in this just be like some guru YouTuber guy or something. I'm just really trying to help people with their art and I've, I, I enjoy that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. And if you want to know, um, advice on tablets or anything, uh, what you should do or as far as like what type to buy or something, just feel free. I'll be happy to answer your questions as to my, to the best of my abilities. <laughs> All right, you guys talk to you later. Bye.